hello guys welcome back this is me maddie again showing you tutorials on how to edit pictures on snapseed very easily and to make it more beautiful uh, guys this is an image which i took the place named chandrapur which is situated in assam uh, i took this pic when i was a beginner uh, like two to three years before i used to travel many places to uh, photograph new pictures every day because i like to travel a lot i literally like to travel a lot and this pic i took it after golden hours i took many pictures during golden hours i'll edit those pictures on my upcoming videos and i'll show you that uh, how the pictures were and the clouds that they, they were literally awesome guys believe me they were literally awesome okay uh, so what am i gonna do is that i'm gonna show you all that how to um, convert this image from an underexposed image to a properly exposed image okay so we'll start with the tune imaging as i always do and let's go we'll go with the brightness we'll increase the brightness mm that looks perfect to me contrast uh, guys will uh, use the tool contrast later and I'll tell you why and saturation yes a bit saturation I want it to be increased to 10 yeah yeah ambience yes i do need ambience and i'll increase it to 50 around 50 and shadows yeah uh, guys as our image is like a bit underexposed right as you all can see the colors have been popped out because i've increased the saturation over here the parts over here okay the parts where i've touched okay uh, but you can still see that the houses over here are very underexposed so i'm going to increase the shadows okay look i'm going to increase the shadows and i'll put it over 30 to 31 yeah now it's looking perfect right um so let's see saturation is fine uh, yeah now we can use the contrast and let me tell you guys that why uh, why contrast is important in this image or what does it effect what effect does it give on any kind of image okay if you reduce the contrast you can see that it gives a foggy effect in image okay for example if you have take if you if you have taken image uh, at any time but you want to uh, give it an effect where it shows the early morning uh, scene okay then you can use the uh, uh, decrease the contrast but in this image i'm going to increase the contrast a bit and i'm gonna put it to minus uh, plus five and yeah that is perfect i think so from my point of view and saturation is uh, saturation why do you increase saturation as i always told you and i already told you and, and in my previous videos also i have uh shown you that how it brings out the color inside an image look but it's like uh too much like colory and i just don't want it in my image and i'll keep it to 10 to 15 yeah, that is fine that is perfect 15 is perfect or you can put it up to 20 if you want to it depends upon you but i'll keep it around 15 to 16 yeah that's fine yeah ambience we have already increased and highlights we do not want to increase the highlights in this image because the image has been properly highlighted right now okay so we'll save it uh, yeah let me show you all guys that how the image was before i've edited it and now it looks like this this was the image before and now it looks like this okay next is details uh guys you can see the clouds right over here the tree over here this tree this tree and the all every part everything in an image it will be like uh, prop I, 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 the shape it will take its proper shape once you increase the structure in detail look i've totally increased the structure okay i've totally increased the structure but you do not want to do this because it's it will look uh, like 
crayon effect in image but we'll just increase the structure bit so that it looks proper and fine and we'll keep it to 20 here yeah, that's perfect and we'll sharpen it a bit okay look this was the before image guys and now it looks like this okay i literally love this image i just don't know <laughs> but i do love this image because it looks like perfect composition look the houses sunset trees flowers everything so <coughs> uh, am i gonna crop it let me see you can crop it if you want to look yeah it's fine and white balance yeah definitely we'll use the white balance uh we're not going to decrease the temperature we're going to increase it look so um, i just want the yellowish effect in the image so i'm going to increase it and keep it around 20 to 21 no 21 20 or less than 20 17 to 8 yeah this is perfect tint depends if you want the pinkish or reddish effect you need to increase it or if you want to decrease it it will get the greenish effect so i'll keep it to zero and that would be perfect look guys this was the before image and now it looks like this isn't it beautiful yeah <coughs> so vignette effect if you want you can use it look if you decrease it oh my god it's looking damn <laughs> bad so either you can increase it or you can decrease it but in my case i'm going to decrease it a bit or else no i just i think that i won't use it anymore because it's looking perfect without it it is perfect okay and blur no we are not going to use the blur effect in this image glamour glow it's not necessary yeah vintage yeah you all must be thinking that i always show you guys that which is looking perfect in this image but i'm not using any one of this in any of my image it's because uh, it, it is not necessary guys look some people apply the filter first okay then they start editing the picture but in my case i like to uh, tune the image before editing it i like to see uh, i would like to increase the bits because practice guys look if you're not uh, if you're not into the editing field most of the time so it is for you people that you use the filter first you see which one is looking perfect on your image like this or this yeah you can uh st you decrease the style a bit uh, also decrease the vintage effect and saturation and you can yeah you can directly apply the filter and uh, click the right button okay but i won't do it uh, because i'm too much into editing and i like editing it manually i like uh, if i see an image i uh, while i'm while i'm while i click an image i just um editing part it runs into my mind okay this image if i'm taking this image then if it is underexposed i'm going to increase this thing uh, i'm going to increase the shadows i'm going to play with the ambience i'm going to increase the highlights and then with the saturation to bring out the colors so that's what my mind works like okay so but it's not um, common for everyone okay guys like for you beginner if you are a beginner and if you don't know how to uh, edit properly by each you don't know each and every effect of the uh, of the filter or the tools they are giving you in an app so you can use this filter yeah you can see directly which filter is looking proper on the uh, on your image okay so if you think that this is looking perfect then go to it use this filter apply it and just decrease the brightness or increase the brightness the way you want to decrease the style strength or increase the style strength also the vignette strength okay so it depends upon you the way you edit it okay so i'm not look i'm i'm not using it because i don't want this filters to uh, show my image that it is beautiful because i can make it without even using the filters so it depends upon you okay so guys i'm not using it i'm sorry <laughs> so black and white no of course not that's it guys this is the only thing i think it is looking perfect and we're going to just 
decrease the brightness a bit and yeah that's looking perfect right now okay guys go to my channel please do subscribe my channel i need your likes and comments if you have any type of question any type of question just keep it in the comment below and i'll reply to your questions okay guys have a good day bye see you soon with my upcoming photos on the assam travel photos okay bye subscribe do subscribe